I had a lot of luck and I mean a lot of luck. As you can see I have a lot of lipos and I mean a lot of lipos and I do check them on a monthly basis but this happened so that's not so good and I found some more. Yeah you can see clearly that this battery isn't good anymore. It's puffed, it's yeah it's open, it's totally cracked open. The balance port is a little beat up. Maybe that was the cause of it. I don't know. All the cells are good. 3.7, 3.79. So these are good. But you cannot use that anymore. This is too dangerous. Always check your batteries. It's a 3 cell. 1 cell is 0.25. So this is also for the bin. And this one is also for the bin. I always put them on storage. These aren't puffed. These are well used. They're all already three years old, I know, but this one startled me a bit. So we're gonna throw these away and we're gonna to dispose them in a good base. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. First of all, I'm going to cut the leads, these and these, but I'm not going to cut it like this. Very dangerous, don't do that. Cut it one over here and cut it another one over there so they don't touch. And I'm going to throw this in water with a little bit salt in there. And then I'm going to let them sit over there. So they discharge completely. Or you can use my stitch charger right that I made. So we put it on this. Like that. Now this is going to discharge it until it's completely empty. And then you have to dispose of it. I'm going to open this case here and get everything out. Just to see how well puffed it is. There's only one cell puffed. See? And this is a 4S battery, but as you can see, there are more cells in there because this is a 4S 2P. So there are more cells in the battery like that. So it's more powerful. Mm -hmm. Cut this lead. Be careful what you do here, guys. See how many cells there are in there? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cells. So they're more powerful than 4S1P. 4S1P is only four cells. 4S2P is eight cells. So I have a bucket with water and this battery is going in there. Simple water. I didn't put anything in there. No salt, nothing. And normally this is going to react on the water. Let's dive in there. Also, this battery is going in there too. And I'll show you after a few days how this water looks like. This is how it looks on day one. There are some bubbles coming out still, so we're going to let it sit for another couple of days. So this thing stopped turning, one cell is gone. It's the lowest that I can get with this thing, so there's not much voltage on there. <laughs> This is uh, after a couple of days, like about 10 days or something. And you can definitely see how it looks. I'm gonna get them out of there. First put some gloves on and then I'm gonna put them on a towel here. And then you can see how they look. So let's get them out of there. This is one battery. It's only cut. And you can see over here. It's a little puffed now. Let's get the other one. They split up, you see? And they are all puffed now. Not all of them, but... You can see the oxidation over here. And the water, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty dirty. So when you dispose of it, do this in the proper way, not in the grass or something like that. This is the only disadvantage that you have when you put them in water. My preference is to put them on that lipo killer or something like that instead of this. So, but you be the judge of that. 